You know, we, I mean, we've changed a lot of things as far as our attitude goes over the last couple of years. Um, but, you know, I, I've had a lot of experience and, and a great opportunity to coach under Coach Romero and learned a lot from him and the intensity he brings, and we're trying to bring some of that back. Um, and so that foundation is really built on what Coach Romero was doing here in the past and uh, just trying to be tough, tough on the field when you cross the white line. And, and we've got a lot more guys buying into that this year. we got a lot of guys working hard in the weight room in the off season and uh, competing in everything they do. we got great leadership. And so that's really the foundation we've laid. And uh, we've got a lot of guys buying into it. So we're pretty excited about it. We return both sides of the ball 17 players but not a single lineman that started last year. So we're going to be young on the line and a little bit inexperienced, but I think we're going to be uh, tough as we get along through it. So uh, on the offensive side, every skill position returns. Uh, quarterbacks to running backs to receivers, every single one of those guys returns. Tight ends, uh, we just don't have returners uh, on, the, on the offensive line. We've got a lot of guys who played offense for us, um, and flo floated in, and some JV guys, and have a little bit of experience, but no starters. So we'll be young and fresh up front, but I think we'll be pretty tough. He's, you know, it, if you look at his ID card from last year at this time, it's literally 60 to 70 pounds lighter. Um, he was a backup quarterback for us last year, did a great job, and he played tight end. We, we had a hole at tight end, had some injuries. We moved him down there, did excellent. Um, and we, we talked to him about the leadership we need on the front line, and, and he owned that and accepted it and took it. And now he's, he's our dominant leader down front, and we're expecting big things from him. He, you know, he never complained one time. He just he took his job, he took his assignment, and ran with it. And so we're pretty proud of him for that, and we look forward to how well he's going to make those guys down there. What we do best is our defense. Um, our defense is definitely what kept us in a lot of our games last year. Coach Lovato, our defensive coordinator, um, has a high expectation for these young men. He works them hard, um, and he's put in the time and effort in the, in the film room to make them better. And so we're going to continue to build on that. Um, we are going to be a, a tough, tough nose defense, anchored by guys like Mitchell Cantwell, um, uh, Luke Decker uh, as a nose guard, and then we've got a host of DBs: Bo Lamy, Thomas Vieira, um, Wes Swainston, Jesse Garcia, uh, Ryan Hills, returning safety, started every game for us. I, I, it's hard to even remember all the guys who are returning on defense because so many do. Um, but you know, it's it, these guys are coming together as a unit. They're, they're working hard as a team. Uh, we're just trying to get back to the playoffs. You know, we had a we had a little bit of bump in the road last year, a um, little bit of learning experience. Um, but we're just going to try to get back to what we do: uh, run the football and, and and play defense well. So it's uh, it's not a nice schedule. Um, we play. I would say we play probably in the first four weeks, probably play t uh, four of the top six teams in the state. Uh, we open up with a Trisco Heritage, who is an extremely well-coached team, um, dominant on, in, in every position, big kids. Uh, we go down to Las Cruces after that, and then we play Rio Rancho at Rio Rancho, and then we play Cibola in our first four weeks. So I think that's a good test for us on where we're at. Um, those are four extremely talented, well-coached teams, and we're looking forward to that. Um, after that, we play Valley uh, down already for uh, um, our homecoming game, and then we play. Uh, with, then we move into district from there, and we play one of the tough districts in the state. You know, Sandia uh, and Coach Barker have everything rolling down there from year to year. Uh, Manzano is a, a team that's just uh, tough as nails when when they gets down to it. And then of course El Dorado with Jack, Zach Gentry over there, a talented young man. And then Coach Dotson always finds a way to get those guys motivated and win. And so. It's a tough schedule, but we're you know we're not looking past Trisco Heritage because we know how good they are and how tough they are and and what they can bring to the field and you know this will be the first time we've ever played them. This will be our first experience playing them and Rio Rancho in the regular season, so we're looking forward to those opportunities. But um, we're going to find out pretty early where we're at. So.